Hi there, friends and adventurers. Heather here from Heather's Hikes and Adventures. And today, we're not going on a tour. Oh no, this is not a tour. But I am bringing you into my minivan camper to see how I set everything up, where I keep everything, and kind of how I make it a livable situation when I am set up at camp. So basically how I live in my minivan camper at camp. Without further ado, let's check it out. So before we get too far into this not a tour, I should point out, although it's probably pretty obvious, <laughs> that I have my other configuration set back up uh, where I use my third row bench in my Dodge Grand Caravan as my actual bed. I do this, which I will do a more detailed video on in the future, but I do this basically by just strategically folding some memory foam on top of the existing bench seat. And then I utilize the wells on either side, right underneath the window for the extra few inches on each side so that I can stretch out kind of in like a hammock position where I'm semi reclined. So I'm five foot two and it's actually very comfortable for me that way. And what that does is it enables me to set Tara up from minivan to camper much quicker and more conveniently for shorter trips when I need to use her as a daily driver in between. And I'm not going to be um, going for any extended period of time or need my zero degree sleeping bag or anything like that. Um, so that's um, the biggest bonus is that it's so convenient. I can be ready from um, having these two passenger seats in to stowed to set up pretty much in 15, 20 minutes because the back and the bed stay the same regardless. So once I um, am ready to go, I just do a few things once I'm at camp to kind of make everything a little more convenient, comfy, cozy, easy to access. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. The other big advantage of having this particular setup is I have so much more living space as you can see. So I'm excited to kind of show you how I enjoy that living space while I'm here camping at this beautiful state park, which you'll be seeing more of as well. So let's take a look. I think the first thing that you can see here is that I've got my um, rechargeable USB lantern and I already have my lights strung up. The way that I do this is I either tuck them in, as you can kind of see back here, I tuck them into the little um, gap here in the head or in the between the headliner and the plastic part. And then I also use little cubicle pins that I keep in all the time in the place where I want them. And then it only takes me about 30 seconds to put the lights up when I do want to use them. So I do have them strung up now. I always keep my third row weather tech window cover in and then um, as you can see I have the back and the sides open with my screen netting for now to keep the bugs out and to keep the ventilation and air coming through so even though we are in the middle of April in Florida it is a comfortable 77 degrees Fahrenheit inside the van right now and I am super comfortable with my fans going so I can't complain. And then once I'm ready to close up for the night, I will take the screens down, close the hatch, close the sliding doors, and lock up. So let's get a closer look at the rest of the living space now. The other thing that I really enjoy about this particular configuration, having the bed like this, is that it also functions as a couch during the day. So. I have my whole open living space and wide open feel and kind of like a daytime day bed couch feel during the day. It doesn't really feel like a bed until I, you know, set it up as one at night, which really all I do is lay my blankets out and move the pillows around to get comfortable in. But it really has that kind of living room couch hangout type feel that makes it more of a cozy space during the day and less of a, oh man, I'm stuck inside the van and I don't really want to get into bed yet. So I just have this teeny tiny little space. Whereas when I'm in here, I don't really feel like I'm in bed unless it's bed for the night, if that makes sense. I've got all this living space 
I have my workspace set up in front of my toilet, which has a towel over it for now, my entertainment, my drinks, my portable DVD player, I've got some books I was reading, I've got my planner and my notebooks tucked in over there, my camera because I was going through my photos, I've got my key hung up right there, and I'm just getting all kinds of nice fresh breeze. Right, this is where I tuck my Lunatec bottle and my netting when I'm not using it, my car emergency kit. And then when I'm not using my window coverings, I just tuck them right here in the little crack between the outside and the fridge. And it adds a little extra layer of insulation actually. And my garage is down there below it. I've got some extra stuff back here, my water supply, my netting to keep the bugs out, which I'm loving. And I also love how open this is on each side. I just love it. So airy. And you can see here I've got my coffee stuff ready to go along with my electric kettle my dehumidifier i've got this set up as my workstation my cushion to sit on when i'm on the floor my rugs <clears throat> you can hear the breeze i'm sure and see how it just closes right back up my up front here I'll put the window curtains on once it gets dark, but for now I just have the screens on. I've got my sneakers here for hiking. My snack bag. I've got my front window covering up here for now since I wanted to let the light in. You can see I still have that curtain on. And I've got my cushion up here while I'm not using it. My day bag and fanny pack while they're not in use. You can see I can use my trash can from either the front or the back this way. I've got my headlamp easy to access, some extra towels if I need them. <clears throat> and you can see the only thing I use here is the row of magnets to keep this on. <clears throat> Give you another look at this side. You can just really see how open and airy it is this way. Got my camera here because I was editing some photos. I've got my clothing and shower bag stored underneath my workstation here. Got my calendar and a couple of books there. And then you can see here, let me show you a better look at my power station. So as you can see, I kind of have this set up as my charging station right here. I've got my little Jackery sitting on top of my Blue Eddy right now. Although I can easily just move it out of the way and grab my Blue Eddy when I'm ready to cook something. And then this I am using strictly for my fridge, which you can see here. It's plugged into the fridge there, which is my jackery is plugged in here so that it automatically starts charging back up as soon as the engine's on. So I kind of have that set up as my power station. Right next to it I have set up as my workstation with my little bamboo breakfast table and all of my stuff to work with. I can set my laptop up there although I have it up there for now. Back here my little entertainment basket of books and coloring books and journals which is actually <laughs> sitting on top of my toilet I like this little pocket here on my C table which I'm using even though it's a little wider instead of my other narrower table because that is getting a little wobbly after so much use I've got my thermometer on here but since it's magnetic. 
so I can just keep the rest of my journals, my calendar, my planner in there. This little magnetic hook here is very strong. And I can hang whatever I might want to have access to there as well. So you can see it's a pretty nice little setup. Definitely works well for me and I just love having all this extra space here. It's so nice. And you can see I've got the screens just adhere to the outside via magnet right now so that I can have them open and not keep uh, <laughs> running into them when I try to show you in and out. But that is what we're working with when we're here at camp. And there you have it, folks. That is basically how I set Tara up to live in when I'm at camp. Um, inside to have everything nice and convenient and easy to reach and easy to get to and still be comfortable in my space. I hope you found this video helpful, entertaining. If so, you know what to do. And if you're not already subscribed and do find this type of content helpful um, or want to see what adventures I'm going on next and like to get park reviews and camp, uh, campground reviews, then maybe consider subscribing. Either way, I greatly appreciate you spending time with me and watching today. And I will see you very soon on the next adventure. Until then, bye.